What are you looking to know? I'm thinking of need to know stuff, you know? Need to know basis. So, uh, mine and Mossy Oaks relationship starts in September of last year. I played their Sticks and Strings live stream. You know, I didn't have an album out or anything at that point in time. Uh, I saw some of the fellow musicians that I know that I play with had, had been on there, and uh, I, me and Dad, we've always been big Mossy Oak fans, and we've always been watching the hunting tapes and stuff like that, and it was kind of crazy to me that, you know, something that was, in my eyes, just gigantic, you know, corporation, and I was like, well, man, they're, they're having, it, it seemed reachable to me, you know, it seemed like I could, you know, reach out to them and maybe have a chance, and uh, I sent him an email one day and um, hit me back within uh, three days, and Jesse Rayley, I can't say enough about that guy, he got back with me and he's like, yeah man, let's do it. Did that live stream and uh, honest, honestly man, like ever since, ever since I did that, it, it's been uh, a heavy upward trend since then. And, I'll never forget um, when when I first laid eyes on him. I remember him laying there, holding his little hand up, and I mean he's just a couple minutes old, and I got a picture of it. Somebody snapped a photo. <sighs> it kind of chokes me up a little bit, but uh, stuck my hand down there and he grabbed it. And it was kind of like a deal that we struck right there. <clears throat> I'd always be there. Started fishing and hunting early, real early. Had him up in the woods much earlier than I probably should have. I'd have, have my shotgun over my shoulder and have him in my arm and, and uh, pack him up in the woods. I took him everywhere I went. And. Um, kind of spawned into uh, his interest in, in hunting as early as he could, start squirrel hunting. The first year that I took him actually deer hunting, he was uh, eight years old when he was, uh, yeah, when he was nine and he got his first deer. I remember how emotional that was. That was, uh, that was pretty awesome. Awesome feeling as a dad, finally put that together for your kid, the excitement and we both cried and <laughs> it was a good moment. Um, and that's about the time we just kind of started dabbling in music a little bit about that around that same time so i started i started really taking music seriously and, and i think dad touched on this a little bit i started really taking it seriously about 14 years old and not serious to the extent of i'm trying to write my own music but you know just really trying to get better and you know fast forward 17 18 years old i'm i'm starting to sing a lot and uh, I started playing open mics down at this place and they actually just closed down and it kind of broke my heart. But it's called Callahan's and it was in Boyd County at the Kiowa Mall. And they would have open mics every Wednesday evening down there. And I would go down there after school. I'd go back home, grab my guitar, I'd just take my guitar in my car with me. And I would go straight there after school and uh, Rick Potter would host out there and I'd play, you know, five between five and seven songs every Wednesday and just cover songs, just uh, getting my feet wet and performing. And that led to me trying to write my first song. This is also about the same time that I, I really started listening to uh, Tyler Childers. He had a big influence on me and uh, Nicholas Jamerson had a gigantic influence on me. And uh, I wrote a song. I won't, I won't even name drop it because I won't play it no more. But uh, I went out there and I played that song, and uh, really the rest of it is just history, man. I 
I loved it from the very get-go. That's my therapy, you know. Um, that's my way to kind of get everything out that, that I need. I mean, I just love it. I really do. I genuinely love it. Almost as killing big deer. Hill ate one. What we got into last year when uh, he told me that Mossy Oak had invited him to come down there and the first thing I thought was I gotta take dad. I gotta take dad with me because and when I got down there I just couldn't believe how well Neil and, and Daniel and Jody and Walt and everybody treated us. Uh, they treated us like we were part of the family or something. I just felt at home. How's my hair? I look nice and pretty. This is Cole Chaney and Gary Chaney. Back on our, uh, this is our last evening, huh? Neil was kind enough to come out here and uh, set us up a blind while we were back at camp. Really hoping that we can uh, see some horns this evening. BBD. BBD. We'll put her together. Good job, son. We go. Good job. Oh, I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. That's awesome. When you're raising them up and you're teaching them in those moments, you appreciate them more now because when they're when they're young and you watch them come up and you're teaching them and you're showing them everything and, and you're hoping they're paying attention, and you're watching them progress through their, not just through hunting and through everything that we're doing, but through life. There always comes that time where as a, as a dad, as a parent, you know you have to let them learn on their own. And that day always comes and you go to the, you know, you walk up the path and you shake hands and that first time you you say good luck and you go your separate ways. But the feeling that you have, you're, you're proud of him, that he's able to do it. But it, it, it also, you know, it breaks your heart because man, because you spend all that, you know, you, you're just, you miss him. Um, you worry about him, but uh, it's just like, uh, you know, when, when we went our separate ways that, that morning, you know, you just have to, you have to trust in him that you're that what you've done to prepare them for this moment that they paid attention travels all over the place Louisiana Virginia going out to Colorado uh, Illinois I mean he's all over the place and he handles himself like a man walking the other way going to my own spot that morning I'm sure did help prepare him to get to that point give him a little bit of maybe a little confidence that he can handle anything it's really unbelievable that you know I can go somewhere hours and hours away that I thought you know I, the people would never know my name outside of my hometown and these folks know every word to my songs and it's the most surreal thing in the world 